Hello Dot2 fans and welcome to another Dot2 video. Now I know a lot this these this range seems to be quite popular, so I decided to do a video on the specific part of it, and this will be about the uh, Dalek Titans. Now as you can see here we have I'm gonna start off with the Paradigm Dalek Titans. And as you can see they've done all five designs. And they also did do a 6.5 inch, it's pretty much exactly the same thing. Um, only bought one because they are they are slightly pricey for something that's quite similar. Plus, I've the smaller ones anyway. Now, as you can see here, it's a bit out of scale in a few bits, such as the uh, one ring here out of four, uh, three rows of um, globes out of four, and also, well, a cross section laser, as you can see. It uh, comes out like that, and what you're supposed to do is use hot water to heat it up so it slides in a lot more easier. Uh, the head can do a uh, 360 degree turn all the way around, and as you can see here, the uh, eye is just a white pupil in the middle, and all the dark designs are equally the same of the Paradigm range. As you can see, we've got Drone, Scientist, Supreme, Strategist, and Eternal. And of course these came out in the very first set, that was uh, the Wave 1 set, I think that was back in 2010. Uh, and they all keep, they keep doing these as well, so there's been quite a few lately. Uh, the latest one being uh, the 11th Doctor in blue shirt, and there's another one, and the uh, Explosion TARDIS Titan as well. Uh, these are to scale with the rest. Uh, time dis is are a bit smaller than the rest because obviously to scale would mean them a bit bigger. But overall, they're quite good and quite a novel idea. Um, I do think the retail price of eight pounds is a bit too pricey per one. So if if you ever see them on sale for like fifty percent off at four pounds, then I'd recommend you get them. But please don't try and spend eight pounds per one because I think that can be a bit too much. But hey, if, if you love them and you want to get the whole set, then by all means, spend away. Now next, I'll be talking to you about the new series design ones. And as you can see here, we'll start off with the Red Supreme Dalek. Again, we've got the uh, traditional one ring. But we've also got the uh, outer uh, sections here that I'm not sure what they're called. Uh, we've got the third globe at the back and the traditional three rows of globes but it's a, a nice little addition all right next we have the dalek sec now as you can see here it's obviously completely different from the red supreme uh, it has the uh, white bolts on the uh, strats here again traditional three rows and it's quite a nice addition and pretty much the next few are very similar so we had the bronze Dalek, as you can see here, it's pretty much a black version of Dalek Sec. And we also have the Assault Dalek as well. As you can see here, it's pretty much the same as the Gold Dalek. And the, obviously the only difference here, as you can see, it has the Claw Assault Arm. And we're going to go with a slight different version, with different paint apps all together, with darker bronze, is the uh, Series 1 uh, Damage Dalek. Um, this one is actually a very rare one, so um, if you have it, then very well done. As you can see here, it has the chains on the side, as well as the uh, damage effect of it, as well as the uh, rose handprint, as you can see here on the side. Again, a very rare design, and it's also a, a better shade of bronze, person, I think. And obviously, let's move the, this one to the back. Next, here we've got um, Dalek Rusty. This is one of the most recent... Uh, da Daleks um, addition to the set. As you can see here, it has the uh, scuff marks on the side, as well as the uh, black wiring uh, seen in into the Dalek. Uh, this one has a more darker shade of bronze. Uh, not obviously not entirely sure why. We have three different shades of gold. Uh, but again, similar but not exactly the same. As you can see, obviously only one row at the back here, rather than traditional two. And one of my ultimate favourite ones is Dalek with Mutant Reveal. Now, I think this one's my favourite one because it is completely different from all the rest. As I've already showed you, the uh, Paradigm Dalek is pretty much the same bar the colour. And obviously, 
you know, Dalek Sec is a you know, black version of the Gold Dalek, and the Assault Dalek is the same as the Bronze Dalek. Only difference is with a claw arm, you know. But this one is completely different. As you may also know, there's the uh, Pop Funko figure of a Dalek Sec version of this as well. Now, I'm not entirely sure why there's a gold version here, but a black version there. It's bizarre, considering you think they've done each other, such as a black version of this in this scale, and a gold version of the Pop, Fun Pop Funko one. Now, as you can see here, it's uh, you're probably familiar with this, as the, as you know from the uh, Final Fitch version of the Dalek Mutant reveal. But the good thing is, it is it has all the um, accurate bits, such as the uh, splitting into quarters, not just the one section. And obviously, some of you may know um, it is very similar, well, a more like cartoon version to the Weeta Dalek uh, made a few years ago, which is a Dalek statue with mutant reveal. And obviously, again, this is one of my favourite because it's very different. Uh, the weaponry does actually move on this. Obviously, I don't want to move it too much because obviously, you know, I don't want to bend the side bits because they're only connected on uh, by this uh, black pole here. But overall, um, only these seven and the five Paradigm Dikes have been made so far. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if they'll make any more. I uh, really hope they do a classic Titan Dalek. Um, I do tend to collect these odd times, but not a lot because they're not necessarily my thing. But I just love the dialect, so I decided to collect these ones. Uh, I do have a uh, Ghost 12th Doctor and a uh, Ghost Cyberman, as well as a couple of other uh, spare ones here and there, such as a Silurian and a Wooden Cyberman. But again, I only collect them when they're only at half price because I don't want to pay full whack for them. But I hope you enjoyed this video and that... I hope that you also have some of these dikes for yourself as well, especially the Dalek right at the back here, as this one is the most rarest out of all Dalek Titan figures. And please join me for another video next week, or, and keep following the Who page on Facebook, G+, Twitter, and YouTube. Thank you very much, and goodbye. <laughs>